Welcome to Sunday Visit. I'm your host, Elisa Lander, giving you a first pew view to what may be a new church home for you. Today I'm at Euclid Congregational Church, temporarily housed at 30th in Euclid, where the Reverend Courtney Jenkins is pastor. Now if you'd like to go in with me to the house of the Lord, we'll see what Euclid Avenue Congregational Church has for you. I also want to confess to you that this text came into my spirit two weeks ago, specifically as it relates to Euclid Avenue, and that for two weeks I've been walking with this text and discerning it. And normally I go through some process of writing down a manuscript or an outline. Uh, and for some reason, I was really unable to do that uh, with this particular uh, sermon. So uh, this is new territory for me. But I think that what was most important in this time uh, is that we hear uh, from the heart, from the heart. And so in this text that we have this morning, uh, it reminds me of the fact that we live in an instantaneous generation. Uh, the microwave pops popcorn in three minutes flat. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Facebook, and that which I'm doing uh, instantaneously pops onto the screen so that people know what's going on. Uh, we live in a day and age of text messaging, uh, and cell phone. There are no more Western Union telegrams uh, going across the country. Uh, things just don't seem to take as much time as they used to. Uh, you remember a snail mail. Uh, now we send email uh, so that we can instantaneously have that which we are looking for. But you know, the God that has been here since before the foundation of the earth, the God who from out of eternity put time in place, uh, is a God of time and process. Uh, and that there are some things that God does instantaneously or within the time frame which we are looking for. Uh, some students who are in the house know that you say, Lord, I need you to work a miracle by the end of the semester. Uh, you don't have to work it today, uh, but by the end of the semester, uh, that should be enough time uh, for you to have worked this out uh, in the classroom. So even some of us, if we're willing to give God time, we want to give God time within our own parameters, uh, within what makes us comfortable in our walk and in our time uh, with God. But I want to be clear this morning, God does not operate on our timetable. We are to operate on God's timetable. We are to operate uh, in what God has laid out. It's why we chose Psalm 139 at the top of our bulletins this morning. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. And if I make my bed in the heavens, you are there also. Which is to say that no matter where we are in life, God is with us. And therefore, we always should be operating in God's timing, even when we want things done in our own time. And so I came upon this text, which ultimately says to those who have been exiled, those who have been removed from their home, those uh, that are not in a place they ever imagined or anticipated or expected. And God says to them, watch this, go on and make homes. Right here in this place where you never thought you would be. Go ahead and make gardens and plant fruit and you should eat that fruit. Go ahead and, and marry off your children so that they can have children and those children can get married and they can have children. Go ahead and get comfortable here because I don't plan on moving you anytime soon. In fact, the text tells us that they were called to be there, watch this, for 70 years. That's why God says, go ahead and make home. Go ahead and kick your shoes off and get comfortable uh, because right here, right here in this very space, in this very time, this is the exact place 
that I want you to be. It's, it's going to be right in here that things you never imagined would happen would happen. And I don't have you here permanently, but I have you here temporarily. And I want to see if you can prosper right here. I think this is a powerful word for a church that lost its own building that finds itself several, uh, a little over a year and a half later uh, in a property we never imagined, in a brand new zip code we never imagined, drawing people perhaps we never imagined, uh, the church growing in new demographics that we had never imagined, uh, and doing things we had never imagined. And God says to Euclid Avenue in the same way he says it in the text, go ahead and get comfortable here. Now, I want to remind somebody that the gospel is not always comfortable, and that may not sound like good news, but I believe that God is saying to us right here and right now that there is some work that you are to do here, right here. You're focusing on where we're going to go, but I'm trying to tell you there's some work you're supposed to do right in and through here. And watch this. The letter is written to the elders, to the people who have stuck by the Lord, those who have stayed the course, stayed in the race. And I decree and declare that that's most of you. That when the church went down in flames, many of you woke up that morning and said, but I'm still a member of Euclid Avenue Congregational Church. God is still on the throne and I will continue to serve God at this church where God has called me. The letter is written not just to the people in the Bible, but the letter is written to us right here and right now. God says, I'm doing something with you. This space is cold this morning, but right here, God is still doing something in us and through us. It's cold in here. My hands are freezing, a rarity for me, because I'm always hot. But right here, between this space and that space, God is doing something. And if we would allow God to be God, and get out of God's seat, I'm talking to all of us, including myself, that God would be able to do some things in the midst of this ministry that none of us have ever imagined. Get comfortable. Build garments. Don't be so focused on what's next, but focus on the now. God, what are we supposed to be doing right now? episode of Sunday Visit has been a blessing for you to find your new church home. If you would like more information on the church we just visited, contact us at sundayvisit at villagetv.org or Facebook or Twitter, keyword Sunday Visit. Attention all pastors, would you like your church to receive a Sunday visit or is your church broadcast ministry ready to go to the next level? Consider airing on Village Television. Village TV has competitive air rate packages exclusively for Christian broadcasting. Please contact us at www.sundayvisit at villagetv.org. If you would like to order this episode of Sunday Visit, please send a check or money order for $10 and the displayed product code to Village Television Care of Sunday Visit, 3615 Superior Avenue, Suite 4203, Cleveland, Ohio. Shipping and handling is included in the price. So get your Bible and join us next time for the Sunday visit. God bless you.